What's going on? It's your boy Jared Burnham with Palmer John Social Media Networks. I'm a producer at award winning production company Campsite Studios. I'm also an entrepreneur influencer. Today I bring to you another entrepreneur, someone that's big behind the camera, someone that I met through my previous interview for Over Overlook Frames and my homie Marlon. Um, a director, someone that's been behind the camera for many music videos y'all probably seen today with Kerry Hilson, Benny the Butcher. He's out here doing big things. I'd like to introduce Denzel Williams. Yeah, What's going you. on, bro? Appreciate What's up, brother? you, man. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. You've been running around doing a lot of videos. I know it's, I know it's hard to really fit pe people in the schedule, so I appreciate you no doubt, taking bro. the time to come out. And I've also got to mention you're also a, a founder of Top Creative, bro. Yes. Yeah. Media agency, right? Right. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so he's doing a lot of things out here. So uh, he came through. He showed love during um, Marlon's interview with the Overlook Frames. Had to get him on here. He said he got a story to tell. I saw his resume. I was like, oh, yeah, I got to get him on here. He's doing his thing. So I was like, I guess only right, I, I bring him up here, let him tell a story, especially behind the camera. A lot of people don't see what a director does. They don't really know the lifestyle of a director. Like, the only only other director I've had up here is um, my homie Dennis. Okay. Dennis Williams. It's crazy. Okay. I got same last, oh, got dope, same dope. last name. Shout out to the Williams. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. The only other director <laughs> I've had up here was my homie Dennis, and um, he's on the film side. He's okay, also dope. done some music videos, but somebody that's really tapped into the music video industry, I, I'm glad to have you up here. So, well, yeah, man. man. So, I like to get right into it, man. So, what, what inspired you to be an entrepreneur, and uh, you know, what inspired you to go into the into the director route? Yeah. So I feel I, I, um, I feel um, I picked up the entrepreneurial spirit. Like it was like clear, like oh, I'm an entrepreneur. Like mm -hmm. kind of after I picked up the passion. Gotcha. Got so you. like like from the start, I, I, I fell in love with music. Okay. Um, and like I will like even as a kid, like I'll pick up video music box or MTV jams before Ninja Turtles. Gosh, you got so that was like something I gravitated mm -hmm. to, but I couldn't rap. I can't sing a lick. Mm -hmm. So it's like, all right, how do I get into it? So like just by watching music videos like years and years and years, mm -hmm. I subconsciously like had grew a taste to it or just like a feel for it. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, all right, yeah. I'll, I feel like I can get in this way. Okay. You know? And it started gotcha. in high school. Started in high school, yeah. So I was looking. I saw that you um you went into you went to like a film. You went to like a specialized high school for you. Yeah, right? yeah. In New York, in yep. New York, so Buffalo, like, Buffalo, New York, Buffalo, New York. So you from Buffalo, New York? Yeah. Yep, so yep, yep. before you even dive into like you know your your whole career and on the director side, let's tell people about Denzel DZ. You know. Yeah. So so where you from? You know you from Buffalo, New York, right? Yeah, Buffalo, New York, mm -hmm. man. About like six hours. Six hours away from yeah, here. Yeah, damn. How so? How'd you make your way down to the NYC? I'm, I'm sure. Well, a goal being out from it Buffalo. Definitely was a goal, especially like just being around where it's happening at. Like, gotcha. like I, I like to call myself sometimes like a human airplane, bro. Like mm -hmm. wherever it's at, yeah. Like that's where I want to be. Nah, you always but, on the move. That's how yeah. you got that's your network and stay on the move. That's how yeah. you get in the right situations. Yeah. So like you know, I still I still got a few things, ventures and stuff like I, I got going in Buffalo. Mm -hmm. So when I looked at, it, I was like, well, I want to stay closer, but still like in the industry somewhere was happening so i yeah. feel like new york would be the perfect best. but buffalo buffalo has its i'm 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 glad i'm from buffalo man mm -hmm. it was a good like environment to start and like hone in on your craft mm -hmm. and it was easy to start that portion like mm -hmm. there's like other figures out there that's like artists like so it's, it's artists everywhere so you gotcha, gotcha. It, i was able to build and I didn't really care about the money at the beginning. Mm -hmm. like, I was just like, I just want to shoot some stuff. I'm yeah, trying to like, get better and That's better how and I feel like myself. That's what I'm learning. Like, my, like I'm getting into the photography and the filming myself. is like learning. You just got to keep shooting. Yeah, you got to keep yeah. practicing. You got to get in your own. You got to just work your way around it. Mm -hmm. But Buffalo is definitely like, it's a hidden gem, bro. Yeah. Like it's a I've never been gym. to Buffalo personally. I've, you know, I've never been that far out. In New York. It's colder. <laughs> it's <I'm> colder. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's, you know, honestly, you know, unfortunately, it's really more da it's dangerous. Oh, like, word? Only because there's not too much outlets. Gosh, you know gosh, yeah. You don't really hear too much going on in Buffalo. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Nowadays, mm -hmm. you know, with the likes of Griselda and yeah, things like yeah, that, yeah. and then there's all types of figures that went out and did their own thing, but mm -hmm. you have to go out. And yeah, do it, you, know? you got you got to really go out there and, and get it. You yeah, can't you got to go to metropolitan city like mm -hmm. New York City, gotcha. Atlanta, L.A. to make things happen. So I I followed that path, mm -hmm. and it kind of it definitely helped my like career where it is now. Like gotcha. just going off and leaving and 
and it's cool because people from Buffalo stay inspired. Mm-hmm. You know, they look at you on Facebook and then Instagram. They tap in with you, yeah. and it's kind of uplifting and encouraging when you mm-hmm. on that because it's a it's a it's a it's a love it's a tough it's a tough journey. It's not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not I'm, easy sure, yeah. I'm sure you run into so many obstacles coming out of Buffalo, New York, where people don't really know too much about number right. one. Yeah, and then trying to trying to build your resume. To even get the right clientele, how were you able to even build your resume? Like, how did you start building? Like, was it just straight out going to network, or did you meet somebody that was just like, "Oh, you know, I like your work you're doing." How did that come about? All right, so uh, 2010, I graduated high school, mm-hmm. moved to moved here for, mm-hmm. for college. Yeah. It didn't quite work w- well because at the time, New York was really film. It was film, but it was yeah. more fashion. Gotcha. And okay. I was like, "There's not a lot of artists I can tap into." Mm-hmm. Moved to LA. And I, I was lucky enough to fall under um, the wings of one of like the biggest one, one of my favorite music video directors at the time. Okay. So it was like a good like three year run where I was just like under his wing. Shout mm. out to Taj. He was like intern almost. Yes. Got you. Got you. That internship. Oh, yeah. I was like to tell my viewers like that internship experience is free. I mean it's free labor, but you learn so much, and I think you learn more from that experience than even when you learn in school. Right? Yeah. Just in like in all aspects. I mean besides like probably being a doctor, like anything. I feel yeah. like you learn more doing it hand in hand versus learning in school. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, to be honest, I was just saying this earlier. Like a semester worth of lessons, I learned every day mm. when I was doing that. That's and crazy. just like, and I guess you know, not it's not for everybody that style, but for mm-hmm. me, I'm I'm a really like you got to put me outside and I got to mm-hmm. figure it out. Guys, you guys. And I I did that and I was learning so much at the time. Mm-hmm. But that was like domino effect. Like so, in LA. I would have that internship and I was this assistant just doing all of that work. But I will also have space and time where I will like fly back here, fly back to the East Coast and literally pay people to shoot their to shoot their videos. Exactly. Like in a sense, like I will fly, like I I didn't pay them, but Mm -hmm. I will fly on my own dime, Mm -hmm. get my equipment, get whatever the props or um, extras. Mm -hmm. I, I would do that on my own just to get better because I knew that when I go back to LA, I got some people that's really doing it that mm. I can show, mm. critique, and then I can get better that way. And that's what that's happens, what's bro. Up. That's what's yeah. up. That's really going out there and grinding, like putting the fo- footwork down. You find from a whole nother coach, you yeah. from the West Coast, yeah. so on uh, West Coast back home, right. working with people. So how'd you end up from New York to LA? Yeah, just uh, I I used uh, I went to the Art Institute of New York City here. Okay. And I just transferred to LA Film School. Mm. And I ain't gonna hold you, I didn't stay that long. Okay. Because I feel like you can't teach creativity. You can teach the basics, mm. and I already learned the basics in high school. Because mm, I already learned the basics. Yeah. Yeah, but I went to high school, or art school, and I was a major film. Gotcha. So I had four years already yeah. as a kid. Mm. You know what I mean? So. You know, I mean, not saying that as a message, nobody go to school, but it's just my journey. I just learned. You started off early. You started off in high school. A lot of people don't pick up this information until after college. Exactly. So that's so that just says you had the years in. Yeah, yeah. To get into that, to get into it right away. Yeah. So then when I went to LA, that's pretty much how everything like kind of jumped jumped up for me. Gotcha. Just relationships with labels, Mm -hmm. really going out my own way, Mm -hmm. and really going to people's like events. Sometimes, like, I would have director friends that, like, see me as little bro. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, yo, this, t- he, like, shout out to my boy Mike Ho, who, like, just did, like, he just got a, a VMA nomination for, like. Shout out, shout out to him. That's uh, what's up. Dirk and, Dirk and, uh, Megan. Oh, Megan. Megan, oh, Dirk and or, Megan. Yeah. But he's done a ton of stuff. But mm-hmm. I remember I was just be, like, I was the little bro at one point. Just, like, these heavy hitter directors. And they'd be like, yo. Little bro, they would go to label figures that give opportunities, mm. video commissioners, and be like, yo, he next up. Mm. So I would use those relationships, mm-hmm. hone in on them on, on my own time, and gotcha. then that's when people started throwing me opportunities. That's what's up. No, I mean, I think that's a great story that people need to understand from just the, the work and the, and, the, and the determination you had to have. He was like, you know, I'm not, you may not be making the money right away. He was yeah. probably just like, yo, I'm gonna just take, I'm gonna just take this as a learning experience. I'm gonna just take this yeah. as meeting someone else, networking with the right people. And you know, the money didn't come till later bro, on. I ain't gonna before. lie, bro, like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> the Like, bruh, I'm talking about, like, this is like, literally, it seemed fun, you know, mm-hmm. it, seemed, it seemed fun and it is fun. And I, you know, it's, it, you know, I love what I do, Yeah, but, that period that we talking about right now, bro, it 
it, if you don't, lo- it would have broke me if I wasn't passionate about it. Gosh, gotcha, you gotcha. Like I would have quit. I probably mm-hmm. would be working in Buffalo. You probably would never. <laughs> you probably would never met me, bro. Like, no, we're not. If I didn't wasn't dedicated, I would probably have four or five kids. Now, no shade, <laughs> but four or five kids at the age of twenty two. Mm-hmm. Like that. Like I would have been if I didn't have. So, if you gonna start something. Like, you really got to have that fuel up in you. Yeah, but you got to be a passion behind really. it. It can't be nothing about money. Because yeah. money, you get that. And once you get that, it don't really change it. You don't change the way you feel about things. Right. It's just like, oh, I want to get back to getting to how that got me. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? So right. that passion drove you to, to, to continue and look where you at right now. Yeah. That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. So came back from L.A. And now, now, now that you, you know, New York... Are you based more in LA or more in New York now? Are you going back and forth? Oh, uh, no, nah, I'm based here. Based now. I'm based here. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm 30 minutes out. I'm in Jersey. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, so, you know, come right to pass the bridge. I'm right here. Right yeah. here. That's perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. But it's good. It's it, it's a good balance. And like mm-hmm. New York guys got this energy that you can't deny. Everybody feel it. Like it just makes you. As soon as you get here. You just feel that somebody, everybody's up to something. You can't be yeah. the only one not. Yeah, you get that vibe. Yeah, like, yeah, I feel yeah. like, I mean, personally, like everybody, I got a couple of friends, especially my team. A lot of my, um, my team, I work with on family on the west side. And they like, yeah, you should you come out, think about coming. I'm like, honestly, like New York, give me that hunger, that that grind. Yeah. Like LA, a little too laid back. I feel like it's, it's, it's honestly the. I think because of the weather, it's always you know pretty much sunny. I think it, I kind of I would get lost like I'm on vacation. But you know I'm gonna say this, bro. The reason why I hit the ground running so fast mm-hmm. because I had that New York energy out there. Mm-hmm. So you get things done so much mm-hmm. faster. That's true. That's you true. working harder than everybody else out there. Exactly. You literally moving. working harder than everybody else. <laughs> that's yeah. a good point right yeah. there. I didn't even think about because that's like what that. happened for me, bro. Mm-hmm. And I didn't even notice until I sat back and watched it because like all of my peers mm-hmm. became like I like I left them far behind. Once you out there and you was just on the grind just really well when i went out there and sc- for school okay like i befriended you. friends and mm-hmm. stuff like that but it was like they rather do this and i'm like nah i'm about to go to this guy's <laughs> video shoot yeah show up and say hey like can i intern exactly like that was uh, i was on that like mm-hmm. dumb like not not dumb but without any thought mm-hmm. like not off impulse but just like pure passion bro gotcha, like yo gotcha. I'm trying to make this shit happen especially <laughs> yo, especially knowing where you're coming from you come from Buffalo yo, bro, bro, you know your head back in mind like I'm not going back to that I'm not trying right. to go back to that right, right. so whatever moves I need to make on this sunny side of LA yeah, exactly bro I'm making, nah yeah yeah. I'm make these moves. yeah I would say that you know that's saying? definitely so the that's number one go about that's it. definitely one of the number ones yeah, uh, yeah nah, that's good that's good. That's good. And um, so I see you start. So you um, so you based in New York. You getting a lot of clientele all over. So how did you go about getting a clientele like the Benny Butchers? You know the Kerry Hilson, you know the Comedy Machine. How did you go about getting clientele like that? Yeah. So uh, beside, well, I would say uh, uh, besides Griselda, the Griselda figures, mm-hmm. everything else was from the video commissioners with the labels. Mm-hmm domino affecting to managers calling me personally so mm-hmm. like when i did the a boogie video that was an atlantic opportunity gosh, gosh. so when i got that that kind of sprung up like meeting estelle's people mm. but they hit me up personally and then estelle led up to like stone boy the artist from ghana mm. and then that's how carrie hilson worked but then griselda so the griselda is different because in Buffalo, it's so small, like you said, no one, not, it's not much going on. So mm-hmm. at one point in time, I kind of like was the only dude doing it, oh, like doing gosh, it. Gosh, you got So people would come to you like, yo, who's that? Who's the you heard about bro, like this mm-hmm. so-and-so cousin or this mm-hmm. so-and-so friend. You heard about Denzel, he out there in LA with famous people, like mm-hmm. the typical, like, gosh, you got so you. whenever I come back into town, like my name was, all, I would always run to these people, like mm-hmm. run into these people. Like, okay, I'm from Eastside Buffalo, right? Yeah. That's the same hood that Benny and them is from. So when I go to the barbershop, across the street from the barbershop is the corner store. Mm -hmm. I always used to see him. So it was he like, used to be one of them. He used to be one of them. Art, yo, when we shooting, I'd be like, man. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, nah, nah, I ain't trying to shoot y'all, man. But like, <laughs> so like, I don't know. It, well, that happened just based off of them. Just we just connecting like that. But yeah. that's a unique story in its own. Like they mm-hmm. just always seen me like do stuff. It all so, come back from the ground. I feel like it exactly. all comes back. It all comes full circle around. Like I seen him out here. Right. Really ground, right. on the ground, right. working and trying right. to meet people and, 
and get out here. Like yeah. they know it. Like they they from Buffalo, so they know. Like you know, if you make it out of Buffalo, yeah. people were talking about you right. on this side of town. Right. You're doing something right. Right. So that's right. the part of the way they was looking at. Now. I kid I you not, bro. I kid you not, bro. Three years ago, bro, I'm at that same corner store I'm telling you about, and literally I see. Benny pull up and some type of car with a crashed door in it. Like his door, one of his doors was crashed in. Damn. Pulling up, yo, it was good. Like, like Damn, when we, when we I see you working. Uh -huh. And then like now to look at him, it's like crazy, it's inspiring dude. alone. Like yeah, it's just like, you see his, you see you see his side. Yeah, man. it's like yo, I used to see it, on the store. Exactly, bro. And it's like now, yeah, exactly. You out here, one of the best lyricists out in the game right exactly, now. He, bro. Benny Bush, you him on the feature. You like yeah, he know you gonna spit some fire. So. Yeah, shout out to Benny the Bush. He been cooking up. I ain't yeah. gonna lie, like he he old then he. A, he an old head compared to like the younger generation. Exactly. Exactly. And he still hold his weight because he come with his bars. He right. comes with his own right. his own direction. Like he like the if Lloyd Banks would have stayed like I said, yeah, um, okay, yep. he would have stayed on the same path. Like he would have never fell. I mean, he came out with a project recently, right? But if he would have stayed like rapping, he'd have right. you know I, I feel like Benny the Butcher and him you know in the same lane yep. in terms of bars. Yep. They actually had a track together on uh, Lloyd Banks yep. mixtape. So you know, shout out to Banks, shout out to Benny the Butcher, man. They 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 one of my favorite. They stay up yeah. there with my favorite yeah. lyricists out there. Yeah, love and respect to everybody. Bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure, you know for sure. Saying? But that was definitely a Buffalo thing, man. Mm -hmm. we just couldn't, we in the town, we just running into each other. So a lot of managers, so you said like a lot of managers, you know, seeing your work from labels, from the label side. So how did you get the connections with the managers and how, like, how did that, like, who was your first, you know, if you don't mind, mind telling us, who was like your first prominent figure that, you know, you did a video for and it was like, was you, was you nervous? Was you anxious? Like, you was like, oh shit, this is like, something like my uh, first big video. Right yeah, here. my first big video was, uh, this is, it's regional, it's regional artists, um, and, and West Coast. Bad luck featuring uh, problem, and they like big okay. on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. uh, and I shot a video in the middle of Watts. I'm like, how old am I? Like 20, 21, <laughs> like 21. Watts, <laughs> Watts where they shot, you like from the, from the where they shot. The yeah, yeah, and I'm I'm over here, but they but they but I already met with them like two two days beforehand. Mm -hmm. Got you. you know, it was organized. Did you go, did you go scout this? This I'm sure yeah. This was my first this. time. This was the time when I was signed to a production company. Okay. So I had the the support. Like got I had you, the producer uh, scouting. I had mm. you know. Got I wasn't dope. You had, you had these people to help. Yeah, you. You yeah, had a team yeah, at that yeah, point. Yeah. You it was it was that. real. Yeah. And that was actually my first video that got aired on 106 before it was like cut off. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. So. As a kid, you know, we know, you know, I'm in my, I'm in my late twenties. You know what I'm saying? Me too. To feel, to to hear that, to to, to get your video on 106 and yeah. Park, bro, I know that shit was crazy. And I, and it was dope because I was at, I visited back home in Buffalo mm -hmm. just in time to see it, and me and my mom um, watched it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Shout Rest out to the moms out there. Yeah, same here, bro. Um, shout out to the moms out there. Yeah. So she, me and her, got to watch that because like, she she knew like the like I, you know. I'm from, like, we're in Buffalo. Ain't mm. none of this. Like, if you tell your family you're going to live your dreams and do something like this, like, they're going to look at you like you're playing. It's yeah. not serious. And now, if I said I wanted to be a doctor, mm. then they full of flesh. Yeah, so yeah. I, didn't have, I had all odds against me. Yeah, because it's all, they think, entertainment based. Oh, you know, it's a dream. So they all in her ear, and then they all in their ear. So I literally got to see her, like, look at like yo mm. this hard work i'm yeah. doing yeah it's showing it's like showing. Yeah. yeah it's proud it's a proud moment it's like you yeah. know he went and chased his dream yeah. you know yep. a lot of people counting him out like you said look you know look what happens yeah. that's crazy man that's that's a blessing that's what's yeah, up bro. so that was your first video and you was like that and you was in watts that's content yeah nah, that's <laughs> that bad was, bro that's nuts it was bad bro but it was it, it there was a bad environment but like we were surrounded by the people who do bad stuff gotcha, so it gotcha. wasn't one of those situations gotcha, but i gotcha. could tell like it was real mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you felt like everything there was authentic. Like it was mm -hmm. no games there. Yeah, yeah. Understood, understood. So you was uh so you was you had a team back then. So right now, since you've been in the game for a while now, I'm sure like now that you have your own agency top creative. Yeah. Do you work with most of the same team? Like, do you work with the same like producers? Or do you work, or do you go out like if you got a shoot in LA? Do you work with somebody different, or do you kind of work with the same team on most of the shoots? I just started. Okay, so now going back to your question, like, when did you start um, thought about being an entrepreneur? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, that came about like after the fact. Like, so it's similar to like a record label, like when you've been put on a shelf. Like, you'll get mm -hmm. signed and all that, but you will never get no releases. You just put mm -hmm. on the shelf mm -hmm. at one period of time. Time, I was on the shelf gotcha, like gotcha. but they would just toss me solicitations like 
So like labels will go to them and say, hey, we got this artist, we got this budget, we trying to shoot this time. Mm. Whoever you do on your team, have them write oh, a treatment. Gotcha, so gotcha. I would, I, I spent like three years straight writing mad treatments, treatments bro. Wow, that's behind the scenes. Like if you don't even see the the treatments, that's a whole. Yeah, that's yeah. putting together a whole video. Right. So, <laughs> so so I got frustrated. I'm like, bro, all the videos. I'm then I'm getting eight boogies, and then I'm getting all of these joints that. I love by off my own muscle. Mm. So I'm like, bro, I don't really need them. Yeah. Like, I'm going to start my own production company. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. So I don't got nobody signed to me, but I do have people I go to, producers I go to, mm. and DPs I work with. And I'm just like, all right, I'm going to do it myself. So that's when the, I, I mean, I always had the hustler entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah. But this was like, all right. I'm doing it. Yeah, that really motivated you. Like, okay, they trying to show me. Like, yeah. I could do this myself. That yeah, really exactly. clicked on you. Like, I could do this. They just, yeah. they just, they just the middleman at this point. Exactly. So I'm and they just taking, they, they taking their checks and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you had to put, take your own matters in your own hands and go out there and get it. Exactly. And that's what's up. I mean, because it is, honestly, when it comes to filming, I know, like, from filming movies and stuff, and it's, it takes a team. It's never you can yeah. never do that by yourself. So it's always and if you try to, boy. Oh you know. man, <laughs> <laughs> I already know. I already know. Well, even if you're doing like something small, mm -hmm. it, it just helps if you have one, one person. person, at least one, one person. other person. Yo, flip that light. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Flip that light. Because yeah. I might have to do it and film at the uh, same time. Exactly. Like, yeah. like you could really never have too many pe too right. many people to right. help out right. on the set. Right. Right. It just, it's just the security of knowing that things are going smoothly because you know you got this person. Working on that you got this person on that so you can kind of really focus on what your job is and that's yeah. the rep and i know sometimes like if you don't got that help or that team it could be real frustrating and it could it could hurt the art though yeah it can because you are because you could do some people get too stuck on it mm -hmm. on like nah i'm doing this all about myself it's lit like, yeah nigga. yeah yeah said, i don't need nobody but like it looks like that yeah you can tell through the quality like, it's yeah, like, like you would have had that yeah person. yeah and like you know we, we go through it we mm -hmm. had these moments where you know, I have those moments where I'm like, damn, I, I could have just hired so and so. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you get those moments where you bump your head a little mm. bit, but it's like, man, you need a team. Yeah, bro. it's a live and learn. Like you gonna you gonna you gonna live. You gonna learn from your experiences. Like, yo, I, I should have had somebody here. Yeah. Or you know, maybe I, I could have. You know, I didn't really have to have that many people on the set. This right. Time. But right. It's all a learning experience. Yep, 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 yep. And that's the way I look at it too. When it comes to these sets, man, you gotta be prepared because. Things come up all the time, especially yeah, random stuff. You know, especially timing. Anything, anything can come up. So when it comes to like uh, the back to the top creative, so you got so you have people that you know you reach out to if you need certain things that like y'all gotta shoot. Like the shoot you had today, you said you know if, if it's a you know you need a couple people, you tell them like y'all meet me at this job at this yeah, site. Yeah. Okay, yeah. gosh. Gotcha. So like I, I do work for hire for now. Oh, okay, you know okay. And then you know that that's what that's that's what we that's how we rocking right now. Oh, you know right. I'm gotcha. I am I am thinking about expanding and um well i'm not thinking i am doing it so mm -hmm. um i am hiring like you know assistants okay. and stuff like that now, gotcha. that's you know good I mean? and then yeah. also opening up um the rental space of it so okay. just getting my own equipment and, and having a rental where people can rent from us mm -hmm. so that's yeah, in the West that's, that's a big too. that's big in the game like yeah. having like like the red eyes the, the you know the uh, uh the alexa the ari alexis mm -hmm. you know the, the black magics like having that equipment accessible is another thing like a lot mm -hmm. of people especially for, you know black and minority don't have access to yeah. you know and to have a, if you were able to you know create that facility a space like that where people can yeah. access this equipment to sh if you're not shooting at least right. oh i can rent that out right i got this project i want to shoot so that way right. at least yeah because if you, you know, think about it like you know like <clears throat> for one you can move more so like sometimes i'll be with like just building relationships. Mm -hmm. So like if I meet a uh, opportunity and it's like, yo, I ain't really tripping about the money right that. Like mm -hmm. you can give me what you got. Yeah. And I'll if I had the equipment I could compensate. Or number two is like like if man, I forgot what I was about to say. So that's that's that four twenty, I understand. <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> that's that four twenty, boy. <laughs> nah, it's the equipment though. Like we got yeah, the equipment. Yeah. yeah, you got the equipment. You can move and shake and do mm. whatever you want to do. Mm. And then, and then, oh yeah. So like, even like, you can make it's it's more a financial game. Yeah, right? because it's like it's like um the Airbnbs. It's like you know the churros. It's like if you can have an asset and rent it out to somebody and make money while you're not using that asset. 
it's all a win. It's a win-win win for you. Yeah, so why yeah. not just do that? Yeah. You know, because you're giving people the access to use it, and you make money in the same time. Yeah. So that's the way I look at it. Yeah. You know, um, that's 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 that'd be dope. That's so that's what you got in the works right now. Yeah, it's so. definitely that's in the works. Mm -hmm. Um, that's in the works, and then also um, I'm launching um, a YouTube channel. Um, so I, I didn't tell you. So uh, aside from film, I leverage my relationships to use as connecting these figures with artists, up and coming artists, and especially in my city. Mm -hmm. So I, so for since 2015 all the way into 2019, I had this festival out there called Vibrations. Oh, I've been seeing you post about it. Yeah. I've been seeing you post exactly. about it a lot. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. So uh, it started off as like a networking kind of like installation, a mini small baby version of South by Southwest like three gotcha, days gotcha. Okay. panels and stuff right, like that that's still, still the, the work to put that together is right like so now is migrating to a YouTube channel okay you know similar to like uh, you link up TV in like UK where it's just like you got different type of podcasts mm -hmm. and you host music videos mm -hmm. and, and things like that okay okay so we getting exclusive y'all this is dope <laughs> man so it's gonna, you gonna have it back in Buffalo again yeah 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 it's like the uh, Western New York region okay so it's like buffalo rochester syracuse um niagara falls and like albany gotcha, you know gotcha. what i mean because those, those we at the end of the day like you know you got griselda but there's like a slew of others mm -hmm. that they still need to pull they you know yeah. who gonna pull and they can't do griselda can pull so many people exactly they only do with so much exactly so at least this is a platform you know at the end of the day it don't even matter where i live bro mm -hmm. i'm still gonna rep where i'm from just like how you rep yeah, queens yeah, you can exactly. be living exactly. you know what i'm saying so LA, like, yeah. i still have a sweet place mm -hmm. for my people so exactly. that's like my um, one of my ventures that I'm using that's kind of like connecting to my, you know, my directing. Yeah, yeah. Now, I mean, that's the, because at the end of the day, your, where you from motivates you and fuels your success. Yeah. So to give back and to put on something for your city, only, I think, I think somebody said it the best. I think um, Will Smith or somebody said it, it's like, uh, you could always, you could get the money, you could take all that, you could you could receive, but it always feels better yep. giving to other yep. people, you know? It, it's something, it's just something about giving. Yep. You know, if you get back to where you're from, especially, yeah. that's dope, bro. Like, keep, I, I'm all in if I can help any way. Yeah, help, you know, I'm not from there, but I'm down there. You yeah, know, yeah, because that's what it's about, bro. Like, you know how many little kids out there that's trying to figure out yeah. how to be, do the podcast? Exactly. And I'm pretty sure you have an idea of what's the next level to you, mm -hmm. but this right here is they level they trying to get to. Yeah. Exactly, so exactly. Like, if yo, I could, and this is why I created this platform exactly. to teach the youth and to teach exactly. our peers. Like, exactly. there's ways you can go about um, doing things in so many different businesses, so many different ways to be an entrepreneur. Right. So by having everybody up here and explaining their story, it gives them an outlet to see like how they could go. About so, it. Yeah. um, so that so that festival that you're trying to put together and, and that event, I think that's going to be a great. I think that's going to be great for the for the community and everybody around there. So I mean, I always like you know everybody knows how I am about my Termina. You know, Marlon had it. He wasn't here okay. like. Came you know, I always like to bring out the term model for my entrepreneurs out here. Beautiful. Uh, Black owned by The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Um, nice. Big fan of the killer. We'll take a shot. You know, your success, sure, man. Sure, appreciate sure. appreciate you pulling up. Appreciate you grinding hard. And it's just showing that uh, it's another story that people could relate to. Like, coming from Buffalo, New York to... Uh, it's tight. Yeah, it's deep. Um, here you go. Thanks, bro. No problem. Okay. Coming from Buffalo, New York and making your way from into the city, L.A., making great connections out there and it's just showing like it always comes down to networking it's not always about the school part of it yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. I, I mean I, I think a lot of people know at this time especially our generation we know we don't need to go to school unless you're going to be like a doctor yeah, exactly. lawyer you know I mean, things that require like a like you know traditional school yeah yeah traditional yeah, yeah school. but because like because what i was learning every day mm -hmm. i mean like that was school i yeah. was learning yeah but like it was just not the tradition. I didn't sit down in the class. I didn't have to be somewhere, mm -hmm. and it, you know what I'm saying. And yeah. have homework. It's a different vibe. It's a different experience. <laughs> yeah. So my homework yeah. was just shut up and, <laughs> and read the room. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying. I learned a lot about more than just even hands-on film. Like I learned like how you need to treat people, how to be flexible, how yeah. how everybody is not the same, how everybody. I learned about fake people. I learned about the industry. I learned yeah, about I mean, how to maneuver in the industry. Exactly. Learned, you know what I mean? Like, I learned what industry yes means. Mm -hmm. Like, means no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you learned it. I mean, you're yeah. young, you young, and it's like, you, I'm just glad. It's probably, it's probably 
good that you went through all the experiences you went through early on in your yeah. career versus you know being older and trying to get into it because yeah. now you know oh, how to really maneuver and you know what else i learned not to cut you off mm-hmm. okay i learned that the person behind the camera is the reason why people admire the person in front of the camera Mm. because as I sit back and edit these videos and mm. stuff like I have the option to make oh that part right there he look more flyer right here got oh, you it, got you yeah, oh, he look corny over there now let me or she look more beautiful in this mm. angle like that perception that's true those choices that we make mm. Allows the perception on them to be as what it is. As a lead, so it's like really we the fly ones. We're behind the camera. <laughs> we the yeah. ones who got the most taste. That got the most control. Like, exactly. That really control yeah. where the content exactly. goes because of course it's they they the ones doing it. You know, performing. But at the end of the day, you picking the clips exactly. that's going to really stand out to yeah. make them look good. Yeah. So and then it's like I only I only champion that because we are actually not always treated. As such, exactly, we treat it like oh, it's just a cameraman. Like, a lot of direct, that's what I'm saying. A lot of directors and DPs are not appreciated for their skill, what, exactly. what it takes to be that. Because people think, oh yeah, you know, you just sit there and t- direct what's going on. You control the whole, the whole, the whole, the whole situation. If you don't, yeah. if you don't, if you don't do things right and follow the right procedures, things won't come out the way you want exactly. it to. And it will tell them quality. Exactly, it'll tell straight exactly. through the lens. Exactly. So you know, shout out to directors out there. That don't get love. Shout out All to creators, DZ man. Denzel here doing his thing, yes, man. Sir. Smooth too. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. I might, I might pick one up. I'm telling y'all, man. It's terrible <laughs> running, man. Be hitting. They be over here thinking Casamigos is all it's, it's all about. But yeah, yeah, that's a vibe too. Yeah, nah, that's, 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 that's yeah, a vibe. This, yeah, this is this is it, and it's cheaper too. You know what I'm okay, saying? there it's we cheap, go. Then. It's cheaper. See, I'm a cancer, so I'm cheap. <laughs> so, <laughs> you so spend you your money. Spend your money wisely. <laughs> yeah, I'm going straight there. <laughs> get the Casamigos at the crib. Like, I ain't getting that. Huh? Yeah, now nah, you put on it. They went yeah. out of stock, so I went and got something better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the way to go. Now. That's a fact. That's a fact. So, um, another thing I like to touch on, my entrepreneurs, is like just like you said, you're a big fan of music. This is what drew you to music, like just the love for music. And um, in terms of music. You see, now we just had hip hop's birthday about I think it was August eleventh, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and uh, hip hop is now a billion dollar industry, like a billion dollar network, and it's, I think it's the most listened to genre I think yep, in the world it is. right for now. years. It's been like that for like two, three years now. Exactly, and to think about it, it's coming off the city, the New York. It comes out of New York City off the streets, and it's just like for, to be where it's at now. It's, it's amazing. Right. So as a director, someone that's behind the camera that's been shooting music videos for for five plus years, well, how do you feel about? where hip-hop has gone and where do you see the direction of hip-hop going in the next five years in terms of a music video perspective? <sighs> oh man, that's too, which one you want? Let's do it the music video perspective. Where okay. do you see hip-hop going music-wise? Music video-wise? Yeah. <sighs> I don't know, bro. Mm. <laughs> I see it, actually, you know what? This is what I want to see. Okay. Um, I want to see directors start getting royalties. Mm. Cause the hype Williams videos back in the day that was the reason why Busta and Belly mm. and Missy Elliott and oh, all yeah, these songs see, uh, he never got paid uh, other than mm-hmm. just that day. Damn, you know, never got. He's not really getting the recognition. You know, probably deserves the either. best videos. Your your favorite videos mm. you would ever like. Mm. These directors never got paid extra, like residually. Damn. So. You know, and that's the reason why. That's crazy. You don't even think about it. Like people don't, people don't think about it that yeah, way. So yeah. artists sometimes probably don't yeah, think about exactly. it from that perspective. Till this day, bro. Like my favorite, one of my, you know, some of my favorite video directors, mm. bro, are, you know, pandemic roughed them up, and they put out hits. Mm. They was the reason why those songs were hits. Even this, bro. Imagine the little kid who shot the Bobby Schmurda, um <laughs> the first video. Yeah, hot right? nigga. Yeah, right. Imagine if he got paid residually. Mm. That might mean might be <laughs> that video uh, was the reason mm. why. Now he's still performing. He's still performing that song because of that video. And it wasn't even your thing. Like you, that didn't have no DP, you know, mm, none of that. But just like you know, I want to see. I, I like wanna... my homie out, um, out there, V Lens. You probably seen him out. Okay. He, he shot on um, Pop Smoke early videos. Yeah. And he was just a one man cameraman running around shooting videos, and now he's on a whole other level. And it just shows you like coming yeah. from the ground up, it's networking. Right. Um. 
But not to cut you off, yeah. bro. There is ways, like I've learned and sat back and figured out how to do it. Mm-hmm. And there's ways to monetize it. Mm-hmm. It's a lot more work than it should be, though. Gotcha. Like we should already be in the system to where it's like, okay, hey, DZ, we want to shoot this, this, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And we give this amount of percentage. Mm-hmm. It should be already in the system, but yeah. it's not. Now I monetize these situations to leverage my ventures. Got gotcha. you. You know, it's, you know what might be big, which, which would be a great way for directors and even producers, you know, even all the people behind the scenes right. to get recognition for the work that they put into a work of art, like a music video or a film, is Tory Lanez just did something like this where he put his album out in an NFT right. and he put it out for a dollar. And with that NFT, now you own a copy to his album and to listen to or to, to have his album, you have to purchase it from that person. Right. So I think with crypto because i'm big into like the crypto wave right, right now and i need and, to be um, I'm the stock keep, wave I'm now you want to tap in with the here. crypto i'm big with the crypto wave so it's like everybody's talking about nfts odell beckham just did some with an nft um he just bought an nft recently um something big but just in general nfts are the new thing for people to get um recognition about plagiarism right, right. now they're saying NFTs are going to be better for artists, right. like people who do paintings and things like right. that, because it'll create less plagiarism. Yeah. And with that being said, there's I feel like with the NFTs, it's going to be a way for everybody to get recognition. Now, right. now it's like, if this, like somebody like Beyonce puts out a whole music video, you know, you know what I mean? People are on her, on her set to do a music video. Everybody from that cast can get a piece of that NFT of right. that music video right. when it's sold. Right. That right. could, that could right. be, the, I think right now, Tory Lanez is one of the first artists to do this. Right. I know Nip was, you know, was probably going to be one of the artists right. to do right. it yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. But we just see like that, I think we're going to see a trend of that. Yeah. I think there's going to be a lot of ways for people to start receiving money and, you know, being from, from the work they put in. Yeah. So, yeah. I think that's the way, I think that's the way, I think now, I think that's the way to go about it. all your videos, you can NFT them shits. Be yeah. like, yo. If you want to get the I mean, I got, copy, I got a couple they ain't released. I got exactly. an A Boogie uh, Ransom joint mm. that they didn't release because Drowning popped up. And like they released, we was okay. They released the first video I mm. did with them, and Ransom was the next one to release. But Drowning was like a like a joint they just yeah, that, put yeah, out, shit, yeah, that but it funny. ended up picking up. So they just was like, well, we we just gonna focus on Drowning. Forward. Mm. But I got that in the tuck. I'm, Oh, that's what I'm saying. I'm see if that's I what I'm saying. Like you could turn, con- you could turn your creativeness and your content into, into and you can monetize it right. without. I mean, you could do that. You know, the vloggers and all. You know, social media. But now it's like a real way you can actually monetize just your content, and people have to pay you for it. And then, and then every time it gets, every time it gets paid from that person, you could yeah. you get money off of it. I'm still learning the way the NFT works, but I know yeah. it's money to be made there. I heard so about it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. I think is I think that's the next way for all people behind the camera and in front of the camera to reap benefits of when their music is being played yeah. or or being shown in any venue or spot. You know, it's yeah. like oh you got you know I'm collecting money of my video being shown again, yeah. and I think that's the next direction because like I like you said. A lot of directors don't get the get the love they supposed right, to. Right, a lot of DPs right. don't get the love they're supposed to. And the pandemic hit a lot of people hard. So right. for you, like, how was it? How did the pandemic affect you? It was weird. It, I, I just kept going, and it um, doubled. It doubled. It I dub- mean, because a lot of people were trying, were, weren't trying to do videos, but she was like, "I'm done. doing it," because I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep yeah, it going. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, I definitely stayed busy, mm. and, uh, and and thank God. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, yeah, for real. Thank God, because um, a lot of people, you know, didn't get that opportunity to yeah, stay busy. Yeah, it was, it was, it was the same. Oh, it was the same for you. Okay, yeah. okay. And like in terms, of, I mean, since you're New York based, and were most of your videos New York based at that time, or were, were they in different cities? Uh, of certain cities nah, a lot it of was definitely New York. Okay, got yeah, you, got bitch. you. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, I was, I was, I was doing, it, and I was working on my project, uh, mm-hmm. the YouTube channel for. Mm-hmm. The vibrations. Well, it's called the Big V now. The festival. Okay, yeah, Big V. Yep. So mm-hmm. the festival is transitioning into a YouTube channel because of reasons. If if COVID decides to, to stop, up, yeah. that'll mess up. Yeah. So mm-hmm. um, the 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 festival portion is taking the back seat. So now the front line is the the, the YouTube channel. Yeah. So I I was using that time um, towards the end of it, like just putting things together yeah 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 so, i mean for an event you gotta plan months ahead yeah, you know yeah. sometimes even a year ahead like most yeah. major corporations they plan a year ahead for you know for the right. event they have coming up right and with this delta variant surging the way it is man we don't know what the winters the fall winter's gonna look like for us mm-hmm. i'm just hoping people stay safe you know stay healthy you see i see jim jones just caught it 
He said he was knocked out by it. Drake had it at one point. Shit is crazy, man. I don't, I don't believe we're it. still dealing with this. Yeah, it's just like it's, it's, I, I, it's I can't believe it, man. Like somebody would have said, like in 2019, we about to deal with a virus that's gonna take. Obama take, said that. He did. He yeah, said that. Yeah, that's all. Oh, oh, the video. Day. He's like something like about it. Like if we don't. If we don't put money into our CDC right. or something right. like that, we right. won't. We'll right. see a virus that could hit us, yep. that could really mess us up. Yeah, I mean, they they probably knew about something that could, you know, they knew about. It's been over a hundred years since something like this has happened. Yep. But to see this is still going on with all the technology that we have today, and for them to not to have resolve it is unbelievable. So I mean, I think we'll, we'll see how it goes. Nah. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I think people are getting affected by something though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I yeah. think some of it is. Putting, they put some sauce on something. Something. It's just what it is, you know. And it was so much more put, glorified when Trump was in office. Now it's, right. they don't really, you know, they try not to really throw, right. talk about it too bad. But they yeah. still, still keeping things open. Right. I mean, who knows? But everybody stay safe out there. If all my listeners stay everybody safe, stay man. Safe. Just keep keep doing your thing. But, um, but yeah, I like to jump into, I, I ask um, all these questions. I like to ask all my entrepreneurs these questions. Yeah. Like you said, you wasn't even trying to be an entrepreneur. The business side just came because you yeah. realized... You know, you need to put things into your right. own hands to make things happen. Right. So they say entrepreneurs usually have five skills um, that they, you know, that they usually tend, that they gravitate towards. And the five skills are research, focus, cash management, communication, and learning. Out of those five skills, what would you say is your strong suit? And what would you say, and out of those, and what would you say is a skill you can improve on? Mm-hmm. It's between focus and um, research. I'm strong at. Okay. I would say uh, focus. Focus. Yeah. Okay. I, I get focused. Yeah, I feel like you gotta lock in for to be a to be in video and to yeah. be a director. Yeah. To when you editing. Yeah. Especially editing. Right. You gotta be locked in. Right. You gotta be focused. You right. can't really have you no. Know, you gotta sit at your computer and just like, yo, mm-hmm. it's gonna be my hours. I'm about to just yeah. get to it. Yeah. The focus. The focus is is my strong suit, which is why cash management is my weak. Mm. Because sometimes I like focus okay. on something so hard that I don't know how to scale back and see mm. other moving parts. Sometimes that's where your producer comes in here, like yo, yo, exactly. you doing, yo, exactly. we gotta bring back the budget, bro. Yeah. You're doing too much. Exactly. Let's see how we can work exactly. this out, man. Exactly. That's where you guys like me come in here, like that's what I do. Exactly. Make sure shit, is, make sure we staying on our budget. Yeah. Nah, I understand, yeah. and that's good that you. I know that you recognize yeah, that yeah. you know this is your strong suit. This should be. But this man, year. we wasn't taught this, man. Huh? We wasn't. Taught yeah, we wasn't taught this, bro. Like, like my mom, this first my, generation yeah, shit, right? Yeah, here. This, this is literally I'm freestyling. Yeah, this, bro, this first know? generation shit, bro. Like my like my pops, you know, you know, my, my mom's not around no more either. You know, rest in peace, our moms. But yeah, um, my pops was the only one that really was like bill focused. But he, till this day, he still don't know nothing about investing into stocks. Right, exactly. He got that from me. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. He ain't know nothing about. Putting your money into a mutual fund, you know what I mean? Don't know about that. It's because he wasn't taught that. And you know, it's 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 kind of like not to get to. Well, it runs deep for me too. Mm -hmm. But in in my way, is because it just go back to where I started in Buffalo, right? Mm -hmm. Like um, I was reading. One of my boys was on the Breakfast Club today. Rick High. He just you know shout out to him. Oh, that's what's up. That's that's what's up. But he was saying it too, and it was like facts. He was saying like, "Yo, where we from?" It's not like New York where you from East New York and you can see a black, somebody black rolling in like a bend. Yeah, like you where I'm from, bro, shit. is like you mid-level. You can pay the bills. No, mm. You never see nobody that's rich as hell. Or right. I never see nobody that's black, young and, and rolling in the bins. If they are, they a drug dealer. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I remember when I had my bins, bro. Or Beamer, I was rolling around. So many fiends walk up to me and buff, mm. and so many bad energy. So like, mm. we're not used to not having nothing. Mm. So it's like where I'm from is like everybody's used to being without. Yeah. So you don't even prepare your mind for mm-hmm. it. You don't even know what to get, and you think that you think when you get it, it's like the last. So you spend it like it's that's why black people can't. That's why black people can't control money. We get money, we spend it, bro. Because we don't yeah. know if it's gonna I mean, be our last. We got a lot better over the years. Yeah, you but know, it comes obviously. from getting it early. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's why I rather like I want all my listeners to get money early, cause yeah. so you can enjoy your money. Like I, you know, I get some money, I'm gonna enjoy it. But at the same time, 
you gotta realize like, all right, I gotta scale back. I gotta yeah. put these this money somewhere right so I can right. invest it and right. make more money. Right. So that's what I've been learning. Like I've had money, like especially when I was in college, I was getting student loans. I was getting Woo! Refund Refund text, bro. bro, bro what's in my account, man? I'll be like, oh, we going out tonight, bro. We going. My G. <laughs> <laughs> LA in LA when I got my first refund check in nine bands, That's bro. Yo, yo. Till this day, I don't know where it went. I just know I spent it on some babe shoes when I came here to New York. And no, no, I do know, I do know. Uh -huh. I, I use that money to pay artists to shoot their video. That's what I'm actually. saying. Yeah, yeah. That's but what, that's physically, what I got out of it. So yeah, I can't beat myself. Exactly, up that bad. exactly. But what I got at the time, I was like, damn, bro. I remember <laughs> those babe <laughs> shoes and a, and a moped that's that got. Told when I left on a video shoot interning Damn. all the way in Malibu and I just moved out there. I didn't know the inner workings of what street to park. park. I parked on the basically I parked on like the busiest street the in street. downtown <laughs> LA <laughs> and left it there. Like <laughs> nah, that joint was gone. You know what I'm saying? So you know, yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. We get a refund check. Don't know how to act, bro. I seen that comma in there. I was like, yo. Mm -hmm. What? My parents don't know about this money? What? I'm going dumb, bro. That's really... And then you look back like, yo, what did I blow what that on, man? Blow like, if I'd have threw a thousand into an Amazon stock when I was in college, I'd be a millionaire right now. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's yep. crazy. So, now that we know this, yep. you're the first generation to really know these things. Yep. So, like, you know, when I have kids one day, they're going to be straight no matter what. It's yeah. like, if, you know what I'm saying, even if I don't have money, they're going to have money because... Yep. Every, they got age. They got the youth on their side. It's yeah. like you start young. If you get them investing when they five, yeah. by the time they twenty five, they have a million oh, yeah. in the bank. Yeah. I was just reading an article. Blue Ivy. I mean, her parents is Jay Z and Beyonce, right. but she worth five hundred million. Net worth five hundred million. Mm -hmm. She not even a teenager. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's, that's crazy. But see, that's dope. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's that's, that's and, uh, and it's been many. You know, you know, it's been many. Uh, you know, white people that have been have have been having that path for them for years yeah. and decades. We yeah. haven't had that ever. Yeah. Yeah. So to see that wealth yeah. amongst you know black people that came from the gutter is great. Right. You know, it's beautiful. It's only going to be more right. black millionaires. It's only going to be more right. black billionaires. It's only coming. Travis Scott. I see he up next. He right. probably going to be the next one. I think right. I'm surprised Drake didn't touch a bill yet. As much endorsements he, he be doing, has. but it's coming up. A lot of them do, but they just don't talk about. They don't it. talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Kanye had to make sure he talked about his shit. Right. He was like, yeah, they messed up. They ain't put the a 3.4 billion at the time. Yeah, he was he was dope. tight. But now, shout out to everybody that's getting money, man. Shout mm -hmm. out to everybody that's working hard and staying consistent. Because it's hard. Like, I'm sure every day, you don't, I'm, in this in this film stuff, what obstacles do you have to deal with in this film, in this film game? Like, let people know. Because it's not easy. Like, they only, see the, they only see the success. So, what obstacles of one off top of your head did you have to deal with? Sure. I mean, like, literally, like, man, where do I start? Which one I'm going to pick. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, there be so many, man. Well, I mean, balancing life. Okay. Balancing the life. You know what I'm saying? Because as an entrepreneur, you ain't no nine to five. It's 24-7. Yeah. So yeah. it's like hot. But at the end of the day, if you was to work to get that money, you get the money. And you ain't got nobody to share it with. Or you ain't got no friends. Or you don't, you know, you mm -hmm. ain't have no experiences. So it's kind of like, how do you still balance? The, now I'm in that phase now. Now that's 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 important. I think. You know I mean, a lot of people don't know how to balance. Like yeah. balance is key as an entrepreneur, and, yeah. and it's, it's. I think you're learning how to balance every day. Yeah. You never, you never. I don't think no one can ever figure it out. Um, because you, as a especially young entrepreneur, you still trying to see what's next. Yeah. So you're still trying to put the pieces to the puzzle. Yeah. And in the same time, you're still trying to have a social life. Yeah. You're still trying to yeah. have friends. Because that cal that. Cause if you don't have no social life as mm -hmm. a, like me as a director so if i'm trying to create a scene or a vibe or a scenario whatever mm -hmm. i need a reference point like if i'm doing a jamaican scene if, if it's a caribbean party mm -hmm. I, I i have to have experience on my own time going to jamaica yeah, or going yeah. going to a party you or create that creativity you know what i'm saying that yeah i gotta know how so-and-so talk or this person mm -hmm. talk in order to recreate that scenario so yeah. it's authentic mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so no, that's real that's real yeah. and then also it helps for networking like if you out hanging out having a good time you can meet somebody mm -hmm. and then y'all networking yep so you can't just be and then like that editing room to put you in that thing exactly <laughs> so you gotta get out of there sometime you gotta get some air you gotta see what's going on you gotta see the vibes because yeah, yeah. that's what's gonna make 
the authenticity come out in the video is gonna make everything come out better. Yeah, it yeah. just it just makes everything flow. And like with that all with with that all being said, it comes with balance. Yeah, you know I ain't saying? been I ain't I've been terrible with it. Like <laughs> to be honest with you, bro. Like since COVID definitely taught me like balance mm-hmm. because it taught me balance. Like as if yo walk outside like. Go for a morning walk. Mm. Listen to like the nature. Yeah. Like, go like you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like yeah, what does the schedule look like for you? My fourth. Yeah, schedule. yeah. Um, now nah, you good. Yeah, was... finding balance. Like, what does your schedule look like for you to try now, to find that balance? Yeah. Now my new life mm-hmm. is wake up, go on my morning walk, my morning meditation walk, mm-hmm. and just I try to sometimes, most times I bring my phone, but I'm about to start not bringing it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just because I have a park. In the, um, near me, mm-hmm. just go out of the park, just walk, and just kind of like get everything out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then I get to work. You know what yeah. I mean? And then I try to. It doesn't happen every night, but some most of most of my days of the week, um, I wind down and like just manifesting and just kind of like meditating. Bef- so my mind is quiet. So when it's time to go to sleep and when I wake up. I feel fully refreshed mentally mm. because if I go to sleep with a busy mind, I don't get the proper uh, me. I don't I don't get the proper sleep that I, you know that I do. But I don't that's, really sleep too much neither. Yeah. But when I do, I want it to count. Now that's a fact, bro. I think I'm the same way. Like I think as a creator and as, as and as an entrepreneur, you always think about the next thing. You always yeah. think about all right. And you always think about your schedule because right. you think about what you know. What do I have to do to maintain this lifestyle? Yeah. At the end of the day, like I'm always thinking about my freedom. You know, what can I do to create this freedom and my balance? Yeah. So I'm the same way. I try to get up early. I always try to start yep. early. Yeah. Always try to start by one day by six. Yeah. The latest. You know what I'm saying? I always, I like try to get up a little earlier, but the latest try to start up by six. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Start my day off. You know, meditate a little bit. Maybe yeah. read a book. See what's going on in the news. You know what I'm saying? Check some stocks. Yeah. But that was like a chill for me. Right, you know, right, just right. chill outside. On the, on, the, on the balcony, just relax. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Just yeah. to get the mind right, yeah. then get to work. I yeah, think it's important like, to get that clarity from. Yeah, me. like because what I I, well, I don't know about you, but what I used to I used to run away from those things mm-hmm. because the people that I grew up around was either it was they like not doing shit. Yeah, Chilling yeah. to them is like not doing shit. And I, and I always didn't want that. Exactly. So I right. anything that felt close to that. Mm-hmm. But now I'm like, all right. Now it's like I have to take a break so that I can come back stronger. Mm, exactly. <laughs> now that's a fact. So now that. that's my motivation. Like recharge. I'm not just chilling for no reason. Mm-hmm. I'm just recharging. Because mm, exactly. like before I was like chilling was associated with giving up and negative. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's yeah a negative yeah, thing yeah, in yeah. mind. Like yeah. anybody, especially from New York, you thinking chilling? Oh, you, you, you bullshit. You slacking? You know, you know, yeah. hustling. You what you doing? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a fact. That's really yeah. how you gotta think about yeah, it. Yeah. But now, I, you know. I redirected that that concept. Like, all right, you, you you do have to take a break, bro, so that even an idea might pop up. If you moving so much, that idea that takes you away from one from a mill mm. won't slip in because you yeah. ain't still. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> now you need that time to just sit back and understand what's going on. Yeah, you know what yep, I'm saying? That's yep. that's important. Mm-hmm. And I mean, as a director, one thing I want to ask is like, what is your favorite camera to shoot with? Because you know, there's so many cameras out there. I'm behind the camera. I got a, you know, my Sony a7 III. But what do you prefer you like to shoot with? Uh, Alexa. Alexa, yeah, okay. Alexa, okay. yeah. Right, Alexa, it's okay. A, uh, I mean, my taste in film is very cinematic. Okay. So I, I love, even if it's not a storyline to my music mm-hmm. videos, it has to feel cin- cinematic or like, Dark nightish. Guys, the ideal package for me is a, a anamorphic lens on an Ari Alexa. Mm. I'm straight. Guys, you know that's five right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, as a, as a person that's been behind the lens myself, like I worked with on camera sets with Red Eyes, Ari mm-hmm. Alexa. Mm-hmm. On last project I worked on, we shot with an Ari Alexa. Mm-hmm. It was on um, Clout. That's on Amazon Prime right now. You should be yep, so yep, 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 yep. You did yeah. it, bro. You did yeah, it. Nah, I appreciate it, bro. bro. Nah, we both going up, bro. It's yeah. good. Like, like I tell y'all now, we met just off a lot, off an interview that I had, and it's mm-hmm. just great to meet other people moving on the same type of time mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. the same hunger as my as, as yourself. Yeah. It just motivates you to keep going and keep doing your thing. So yeah. now, like I said, I appreciate you coming out again. And then also, like you said, being on top of that is being okay with like because we in the same field. Mm-hmm. You know, and and the insecure people will probably think like, oh, I ain't about to yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's competition. See, we, yeah. we are both. 
okay with. Yeah, right, exactly. Right. We understand. Like, like yeah, I said, right. you more in a music video. I've been more around the right, film. Right, right. If you want to dabble into the film, yo, come right. to the set. Exactly. Like, you go see, exactly. see what the film life looks exactly. like. I want to dabble into the music right. video, really learn more about it. I right. come to the set, right. see what's up. Like, for me, I never look at my own people as competition. Like, yeah. I feel like, I feel like if it's competition, I look at friendly competition. Like, we only going to push yeah, each other yeah, to get yeah. better. Yep, yep, like, yep. how the Lokes did Dipset, you know, mm-hmm. it's like, mm-hmm. Dip said they came out there, went out, there, came out there to go better. The lows mm-hmm. came out there, they knew they pushed mm-hmm. them because a lot of people were side talking like, "Oh, Dip said they gonna crush the lows." Yeah, I thought like, that they too. They thought they thought they thought that too. Like, yeah, I thought that too until the night before. Yeah, bro. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, the night before, I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> if you think about it, yeah, and yeah, they went, they 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 came, they came, they, it's friendly competition. They went in. That's and that's what motivates people, mm-hmm. and that's and that's what I like being around. I like being around people because I played sports growing up, so yeah. I love being around people that's gonna motivate me to stay on my p's and q's and keep going hard and, and like you said, not chilling. You Yo, know? nowadays though, like I see like like when like if that energy pops up, mm-hmm. like if I see somebody who does what I do and they have that energy to them, mm-hmm. to me you look whack, like yeah. you're insecure, bro. Yeah, it's like, like cause you think that I'm getting away of your destination, mm-hmm. but that's coming regardless if as long as you work hard. Exactly. Like me, like I don't like I know I'm gonna make it. Mm-hmm. The problem is when. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fact. That's like a you fact. know what I'm saying. That's and, a and, fact, and, bro. and I've met and I and I and I count my blessings every time. Mm-hmm. So. It's not like a thing, like, I, st- I feel like I've done progress with my life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you look and back at your resume, exactly, yeah, you and I do at- more, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's like, when I do it, it's like, I'm. it's going to happen. I just have to, in the meantime, keep grinding. Exactly. That's the way I look at it. It's like, I, was, I, was, I tell people the time I read um, this book um, by 50, Hustle Hard, mm-hmm. Hustle Smarter, Hustle, Hustle Harder. Um, he talks about uh, how if you put the work in and you know, you know, you put in your hard work, you're passionate about it. You won't second guess yourself when it comes to the time to where you, when you get to that moment of success because mm-hmm. you know you put that work in. You know it's coming. You just keep putting it in. You keep working. And if you said all the time, you kiss everything's a marathon. You just keep working. You keep grinding. It's gonna happen. It's eventually. no different than a plant, bro. Yeah, exactly. If you keep watering exactly. your plant and you place it in the right soil, whatever that is, if you translate that me- that 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 regime to your life, it's like it has to happen. Mm-hmm. It's not even like it might. If you spend mad time on one thing, bro, it has to happen. It's gonna work. It's not even a guess. Yeah. It's not even a guessing game. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like now, if you keep progressing, like mm-hmm. that's how plants grow. Like mm-hmm. they don't just stay little. They yeah, keep, they, they keep, keep getting growing. bigger. Mm-hmm. Like so, if you keep doing that, you, you definitely. Yeah. But if you're doing it's something, you ain't growing. But, yeah. So to try to find out, what do you do for fun when you're not, you know, taking your morning, doing your normal routine? What do you do for fun? Mm. What's a fun day look like for you? Fun day. Uh, fun day, man. I mean, it, it, I like to stay moving, man. So, like, if I can find... I'm very I'm, I'm very travel-oriented, gotcha. adventurous. Mm, yeah, that's, like that's anything weird. that involves... Even if it's something small, like, even if it's an area in the city that I've never been in, mm-hmm. like, I would say that's fun. That's what's up. That's uh, what's up. I used to be heavy on the hookah. Okay, the but hookah lifestyle. Calm down, calm down. Yeah. Especially with COVID, the Rona going around. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta calm down. Kind of calm down, bro. All that shit. <laughs> big on every uh, day. Big on traveling. So where's like out of, outside of work traveling? Where's one of the where was one of the when it was one of the best places you've been to so far? Jamaica. Jamaica. Gotcha. Yeah. That's you because we got to um, we got to like go in the city mm. interact with the kids got you, and really literally see them. how people are living and mm. notice like yo they live in not luxurious but they are happy right you really and find that in the style of food the way of living like they even the chicken they they you know what i'm saying it really brought it opened my eyes because mm. that was the first kind of like country i've been to mm. Actually, yeah. Besides Canada, mm-hmm. Canada is like Buffalo is like our way, so it's, yeah, it's, it's you close. don't count it. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, AC to y'all. Like, gotcha, y'all gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, we go to AC anytime because right here. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, or Times Square or something. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, just how they grow their fruit, fruit and, and vegetables and yeah. all that. That joint blew my mind, mm-hmm. bro. Like that was that was hands down amazing. Uh-huh. Australia was amazing. We've well, been to Australia, but I feel oh, like because it was a tour. 
Oh, that's fire. I, I was on the show. That's one of my. I want to go there one day. Yeah. Show, yeah. I kind of feel like it was because of the tour was the reason why I had a good time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It yeah. just seemed too quiet. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> well, part, you know, but that's you, just me. You ever you know what part of the show you was in? Sydney, Vic, Vic, yeah, we Vic, went to a little bit everywhere. Oh shit! Yeah, okay, yeah, we so we got to touch everywhere on yeah, show. That's what's up. Yeah, I, nah, nah, I'm big on traveling too, man. Like I got the travel bug. Like growing up, I didn't really get to go nowhere. Like my parents really found nowhere. They wasn't, but. When I got to college, I was able to study abroad. Mm -hmm. So I got to go to like Italy. I was in Rome. I got to be in Paris for a little bit. I got to be in um, Spain for a little bit. So that really opened my eyes to life outside of New York, mm -hmm. Queens. Like mm -hmm. I ain't never in PA. Like I ain't never think of life outside mm -hmm. of my bubble of New York City and PA. So like like you said, when you went to Jamaica, it was eye opening to see like the agriculture of, of, of other countries. Like I went to I went to DR, saw that myself. Like mm -hmm. you really see other countries growing, living off of the agriculture. Like mm -hmm. they have to, but they like you said, you see some, you see happiness between them because some of them is like even though they're not living in these nice houses or you know the, the water system is nothing like us, but they still enjoy the, the enjoyment of being alive, yeah. and just enjoying what's around them. Yeah, because it's that. like what I learned was like even moments like that and just other moments, it's like yo, it's not how you got. It's not how you got there. It's mm -hmm. just as long as you got there. Yeah, like whatever yeah. that is, mm -hmm. like. You could have took the bus. You could, I'm just speaking in metaphors. Yeah, 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 fast, fast. You could have took the bus. You could have walked. You to the drove the uh, bike. You could have mm -hmm. flew the plane. Mm -hmm. But you're there. Mm -hmm. However, you made it. Mm -hmm. As long as you got there, you good. Exactly. And <laughs> as long as that's where you know you want to go. Exactly. You know yeah, saying? yeah. I'm saying like in general, yeah, like yeah, as yeah. happiness, mm -hmm. like or success. Mm -hmm. As long as you got there, you good. Exactly. Like, it doesn't even matter exactly. how that's, you got there, bro. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> no, that's the way I look at it too, man. You don't. It's not always how you look. How you got there is always about you getting there. You yeah. Achieve. As long as you get there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As long as you get fact. here, bro. Don't even matter. That's a fact. <laughs> So in terms of, you know, you've been doing a lot, you've been, like you said, you run around doing videos after videos and, and the schedule's full. So I know you got the, the uh, festival coming up for, you know, for your, for back home and everything, all the, all the everyone that's around you doing a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. What's next for you on the on the video side? Like, do you ever see yourself dialing into the film, like shooting films, or do you, do you see yourself like what, what would you say is next for DC? I'm definitely at that turning point, bro. Gotcha. So it's like right now, it's figuring out. You know, us as creatives, you want to essentially you want to do everything. Of course, but yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. all right, what 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 what? You know, I'm in that I'm in that phase where it's 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 time to figure out how mm -hmm. how and what first. So gotcha. I kind of figured that out. There's a few ventures and like, you know, my goal when it's all said and done is to be known as a music mogul. Mm -hmm. So like using my film to uplift artists, using whether it's even like signing artists of my own. Mm -hmm. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? That's Which I, I do have that in motion sort of mm -hmm. um, that's in the works. Um and just 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 being using what I love and and helping others. Like I love music, using what I know and my skill and my and my component in that world, figuring out how I can expand and have an empire. That's a fact. Bro. That's a yo. She's dropping gems right here. Now it's all about building an empire and also bringing up others with you. That's why I created this platform for like minded individuals like yourself. Because a lot of people see themselves as you know doing you know building this and they getting a lot of money. That's it. It's all about, I mean, of course, everybody want to get a lot of money, but it's yeah. all about gaining, you know, success and putting on other people that, you know, didn't have the same opportunities yeah. about putting on people. Yeah. That's the way I look at it. That's why I created this platform, to yeah. put people on and make sure that they get the recognition they deserve. Yeah. It's like, so It feels so good, too. Mm -hmm. it, it does. It I does. like connecting people. Chill. I like connecting the right people. Exactly. I also had moments where it went negative. Mm -hmm. Like, we're all damn, I should never introduce. Yeah, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but yeah. I ain't going to lie, it's been very few. Mm -hmm. So like the majority, I'm like, yo, I'm glad that they exactly. connected. I'm glad that you know. Mm -hmm. That's what so. it's all about. Is that connect? It's about networking and meeting the right people and just establishing that uh, that uh, that relationship with the right people. Mm -hmm. That's dope. And like, one, I want to leave it off with like, in terms of like social media wise. I mean, not even going to leave it off with social media wise. What do you say you get your your most uh, support at social media wise? Um. I get some, I get interaction um, on Instagram um, and secondary. It just depends. Um, home, back at home, mm -hmm. Facebook. Facebook, yeah, yeah. That's how it is for <laughs> Pennsylvania. Yeah. Facebook is yeah, big yeah, for yeah, people that are yeah. cool with NPA. Right. But at New York is, oh, and what's yeah. on Instagram? Industry. Yeah. Industry and in bigger cities, bigger markets, Instagram. Instagram. Um, facts, I, facts. I, since pandemic, I ain't been really kind of like, 
pushing it. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been posting. You know what I mean? I've been working. You know, yeah, I've been working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at that point where yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I got like the loaded. I got a loaded clip. Yeah, now I'm about you, know, to start. <laughs> you just start letting it fly. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. That's where you gotta have it. Yeah, that's the that's the way you gotta be. Um, and one thing I want to leave off on for is advice. I love leaving advice for anybody. Excuse me. If anybody that's trying to get into the industry, peer, our peers or even the younger generation, what advice would you would you give them if they were trying to be a music video director? Mm, three things I would say. One is uh, don't count on equipment. Count on yourself. Count on your taste. Ooh, okay. Count on your personality. Count on your opinion. You know, mm. you can work with, don't think that since you got the most expensive camera, the most light, the best lighting that you you good like hats off the shoot is done it's gonna be killed like no you you have to rely on your taste what's the angle what taste do you what 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 do you think is the best way to bring out that feeling number two rely on those things to build those relationships Mm -hmm. be a person like most of my relation opportunities have have reoccurred mm. like my ongoing clients mm. they come back because they also like working with me like i'm i'm not i'm not an idiot yeah i'm also not oh i don't overdo it neither gotcha. like i'm cool i'm i'll make you laugh mm. i'll make you be like oh that's dope and we all we, damn there might be emotional when it's all you know what i'm saying mm. like I, I i i bring people on experience but that's like me as a person like People know me as different dynamics to me. Like I'm, I'm funny sometimes, I'm very serious sometimes. Yeah. When it comes to your work, I feel like yeah. when it comes to my work, I'm very serious about yep. it. Too. You know, yep. your pat, you, you know the work that you put in to get where you're at. Right. So you're gonna be very passionate about your right. craft. Right. You know, especially when you're right. set, it's like right. it's getting moving. Like this right. is what we're here to exactly. make. So right. I understand that. Now yeah, just be a person. Like mm-hmm. be, be a person. Like don't be too. I, I would say don't be too strict like going there like and you don't you too stiff like Mm -hmm. make your client laugh in between takes like you know what I'm saying like Mm -hmm. you know like ask them how their day is Mm -hmm. how's the family yeah Yeah. Yeah. how the family like you know what I mean Mm -hmm. especially nowadays that's important question because you don't know (laughs) right like how your health you know like you know those are real genuine questions right now yeah yeah and then and then three um Three will be uh hmm. Three will be uh, just move with intention. Move with intention. That's oh, I like that. That's that's a gem. Make, make, the make, for y'all, make a man. movement, make something happen and let it be let it be something with substance. Don't 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 do what we do just cause you think we got the girls and mm. And, and this and that, bro. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. like, it's a lot of work, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially if this is all you do. Like, you, this is, you know, this is all I do. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know. You see, you've see, you been there. You've been doing this for years. Yeah. It's just like you just started this. You've exactly. been doing this since exactly. high school. Like, exactly, you know this. bro. So you know it's like, world. don't pick this up. Don't, t- don't, any trade. Mm-hmm. Like, make sure when you do this trade, any trade you choose, you choose it genuinely. Not because of things that you think will be cool like most of the times like i ain't even what you think is happening i ain't even really indulging in it mm-hmm. <laughs> like i got my girl at the crib i don't be out at the club i don't care about honestly people gotta realize the difference between social media and real life right, like right. we come from a generation we didn't always have social media right so we know how to we know the difference between real and fake. Yeah. A lot of people, especially the younger generation, can't yeah. decipher the two. Right. So I think it's important to understand, like, we don't have to pull all the information out there right. for people to know. Right. Just know that we're working. Right. That's, you know, let's exactly. just put that out there. Exactly. Yeah, and that's it. I mean, that's for now. Yeah. Nah, I appreciate nah, those Those are great gems. And all I want to do is say, how can people continue to support DZ? How can people support Denzel? Yeah. Uh, Instagram, DZ underscore Williams, if you want to see, like, everything I got going. Because yeah. moving forward, I'm going to expose everything I got going. I'm at that time where I'm like at my life where it's like I want to, I got more things to offer. So mm-hmm. that's where you're going to see what I got going on. Uh, if you want to get into, uh, you want to see what's going on on the film and in, 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 in my portfolio, top creative site. Dot com. Fine, um, so. Those two sites, you can kind of get everything else. Mm, yo, mm. I, saw, I, I, I watched the real. The real is dope. He got some great. His portfolio is outstanding. I'm telling y'all, like, 
I would not kid y'all. Like, I had to get him on here for a reason. Like, all my directors, all my inspiring directors, music videos, film. Check his stuff out. He is dope. Like, I'm telling y'all. You can learn some stuff from him. Like, I'm telling y'all. Yeah, tap in, too. Yeah. Tap in, too, man. I'm not that guy that's like... Like, I'm not... I'm not a cocky person, man. I believe in myself, mm. but I'm not like that guy where you can't pull up on me, shoot me a DM, mm. and, and ask me some questions, and et cetera. Like, you know, I'm definitely in that space where it's like, I'm just trying to, like, help however. Nah, that's a fact. And I, I appreciate that, man. It's all about helping our, helping yeah. ourselves and helping our future generation and helping right. our peers, man. Right. I appreciate you again, Denzel. All you know, good, like I said, yeah, y'all keep tuning, y'all keep watching me bring these great entrepreneurs up, man. I, like I said, I'm gonna keep coming with them, gonna keep dropping these great, great gems. Like I said, appreciate you again, Denzel. Yeah, bless. Mahalo. Yep, yep. Y'all stay tuned.